Welcome to another website review with Alex Designs. Do you want to get your website reviewed? Go to alexdesigns.com slash review. I'm going to be reviewing the justgo.com website. As soon as I arrive here, everything black and people raising their hands definitely seems like a, you know, a music site. And then I interpret it and read it. All in one social media and audience management. Hmm. For some reason, I'm not connecting the visual imagery and the uh, uh, the screenshots with what you guys do. As I scroll down, I think the most important part of this uh, application is who it connects with. Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, Instagram, YouTube. These are probably some of the most important things and because they're grayed out, I don't know if it really connects with what you guys do within just a few seconds because I don't think people read this at all. So I think, I don't know why you, the, all this space is right here, but I think if you moved everything up and maybe get it, this into one line, because right now I'm asking questions before I've even started of what do you do, who are you, and why should I care? You're asking me to join now for free, no credit card required. But then I click on it, and it immediately takes me to Facebook. I'm out of here. Bounce bounce rates, I'm sure, are very, very high. Because obviously, they're going right to Facebook. Majority of people are probably clicking on this, or they try to click on this. I definitely would run some heat maps to see where people are clicking on, and then how far they're actually scrolling down. So I think there's a, a disconnect between the unique value proposition, what you guys actually do, because it seems like what you do is something like Buffer or Hootsuite. And I don't know if that necessarily really connects to the screenshots, the social proof, and then the actual applications that you connect with. Because the visuals down here are really nice, but it's not visually apparent to me. All, all of this text, gray, light gray on um, on textured white background, it's all very hard to read. Make some noise. It really is just not direct uh, for me at once, uh, uh, right away. I think your the unique value proposition is this, all in one social media management. Have you tested that right here? Instead of getting rid of audience, all in one social media management. Free, join now for free. Click here and have them actually sign up without Facebook. Definitely worth testing, absolutely. Also, if I actually want to, to sign up with you, how am I ensure that you who you are and you're credible? Like, I've never heard of you. I've heard of Buffer and Hootsuite. So how do you really compare? If I were to click on some of these, fan, sign up with Facebook. It's like... There's no consistency between the pages to easily tell me what you offer. Okay, now I actually have to click back and I'll click features. Free social media and audience management tools for creators. Free social media. media. Free, it should be free social media management tools. Get started for free. I think this page actually has a lot to offer with the video, but as you scroll down, it becomes a little bit confusing. And then there's no consistency in the navigation. So I, I'm sure that you're losing people on a lot of the different pages. Have you tested not having people actually sign up with Facebook? I would try to get people actually not to sign up through Facebook and, and potentially set them up that way. That would definitely be one of my tests. Also, I would test adding a unique value proposition to your logo. You know, just go. All in one social media management. That way people don't have to guess. If they're looking here and they're confused, all they have to do is look at your logo and then sit and then have a unique value proposition that clearly tells them exactly what to do. Because the, the navigation elements don't tell me what, what you guys offer. All you're doing is forcing me to go to Facebook or, or, or to sign in. Let's look at some other examples. 
if you did do the same things as Hootsuite or Buffer, you could do something like this. Top five reasons to use Hootsuite instead of Buffer. Great example. Not making any assumptions, but telling people exactly what to do. Very clean. Your eye is drawn down, so you go down, and then you're able to actually click on. Another example, connect your social content and boost engagement. Create content hub free, trusted by these sources. Very similar to the stuff that you're doing. Maybe they don't do the exact same thing functionality wise, but the visual hierarchy connects me with Hootsuite, HubSpot, and, and Box with whatever they have going on. I think they should have a unique value proposition with their logo, but as you scroll down, they're using visual elements that I can clearly understand. Testimonials, something you're, you're definitely missing. I don't think you have testimonials on the homepage, right? No. You need some type of social proof because people want to know what you do and how people have benefited from you before. So these are the reasons why they should actually sign up. Some examples, create free, con create free trial. As another way of doing that in another industry is using more text, almost like the Hootsuite example. Why do former Zendesk customers love Freshdesk? More than likely, if people were searching for Zendesk and now they come to Freshdesk, they might want to try this. Clear button, clear text, clear testimonial, more testimonials, more proof, phone number. It makes people feel more comfortable when you're providing more value up front. A couple other examples that I found. Mint, great example clear unique value proposition it's easy to understand what's going on with your money free get started this is what i recommend you doing or testing on your uh homepage or at least the landing page it's secure it, they break everything up in bullets they use night nice white space it could be just that the dark background that is bothering me but somehow this seems more easy to understand than that. Like I don't even necessarily need to read it all the way before I kind of get where to go. Right now, right now you're only forcing me to click on this red, this red button, join now for free, and I'm not even sure what you sell yet. From Intuit, the company, the same company, 26 million Americans trust with their taxes. Scroll down, screenshots, easier to read text, free get started, social proof. Another example, tiny letter, email for people with something to say. Not exactly direct enough as I'd like, but this is nice. Showing the, the video right there, sign up. As you scroll down, sign up is always apparent. They don't need to, to crowd all the space on every single page with buttons. And they have nice screenshots at every single section. Just very clean, very simple, gets the point across. Square does the exact same thing. Even better unique value proposition. Start selling today. A picture of what they do. You know, this could simply be schedule your social media in minutes. Make it so people don't assume what you're doing and you're telling them completely directly and that it's easy. Because right now, all of this information, all of what's going on here, even though it's visually nice, it makes it look difficult. And this makes it look super easy. Here's another example. Create amazing websites and stores with the world's best platform for web designers. So they're claiming themselves as the best 
with easy to read text and a button. Obviously there's stuff going on down here so it's forcing you to scroll down. As you scroll down you get a little bit more text, it's hard to read, I don't agree with that. It tells you about how, how much money it is, you could just say that's free. And then it rolls right into a form. That's what you want to do. Get people to fill out that information. Because what if they're not logged into Facebook? Like I'm not. More than likely, your bounce rates are pretty high. Treehouse does another great example. Uh, they have an offer in the, in the top bar, but let's forget about that for a second. Learn HTML, CSS, iPhone apps, and more. They're telling people what majority of people use Treehouse for with a, a subheadline and a free trial button. As you scroll down, you get the same exact concept as all the other sites on a white background, screenshots, showing people using their, their information, uh, social proof, testimonials, but another example is mixed paddle. Actions speak louder than page views. Eh, not, not direct enough for me, but I guess they can kind of get away with it because people who are arriving at mixed paddle probably know what they do. But the thing that I wanted to show here was as you scroll down is these. Imagine these were Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You could be using these as showing people what they get. Instead of having them in, in gray and kind of buried right here, you have them nice and like this. So it shows people exactly all the areas that your app can connect with. As you scroll down, they then start to personalize it. They're bringing the people behind the software up to the front. And I think that's what one of the main things that you're missing because you're a new brand and I don't understand it correctly, that I need to maybe see the people behind the software and then also the people that are using it. Because people like to buy stuff and work with people that they like and they also want to be ensured that you're not going to steal their money or steal their information. And lastly, let's check out New Relic. They're using the exact case studies and people within their ads, rotating people through their main uh, panel above the fold with nice social proof actions and a clear button. As you scroll down the page, the button stays right there. It's very, very clear. Create your free account. And uh, as you scroll down, the you get these, like, like that's nice. Uh, that's, that's similar to what you're doing with screenshots. But they're, they're adding the humanistic aspect to it. And I think that's what the, one of the main things that you guys are missing. So my overall, I think your, the unique value proposition needs to be tested a little bit differently. The dark background up here, I would definitely try something different. As you scroll down, this whole area, you need to add some real humans and some real social proof because no one's seeing this. It's just, it just buried under the, you know, this, this heavy uh, visual element it just gets buried with these, you know, people probably recognize music, music week and Bloomberg. And I think you have to call that out a little bit stronger. And then I think the biggest problem is clicking that button, taking people directly to Facebook without them knowing exactly what you do, I think is a big mistake. And also having this button up here at the top, not stay with you the whole time and not be absolutely positioned. And instead of that being sign in, make that join free. When they click on it, and then, and then you can have a littler button for, for sign in or, or something like that. But I I disagree with have every, having everything focused on getting um, them to connect with, with Facebook first. But you know I could be wrong, you could be testing that stuff. But overall, that's the initial review, I hope this is helpful. Take care.